suicide prevention group out of Nashville. Uh, as part of the work that we do with the teen suicide prevention group, we have a teen board, and the teen board meets uh, once every other week, and it's comprised of students from local high schools. Um, every year, their purpose and their job as we meet is to try to find a way to get information out to their peers regarding what the warning signs are of teen suicide in hopes of preventing it. So the PowerPoints that you see on either side of the stage and the information along the front of the stage, and there's a handout uh, table in the front, and all of it has information regarding that topic. And so the purpose of today's Battle of the Bands called Jammin' for Jason is named after this young man here, whose name is Jason Flat, and he took his own life in 1997. And as a result of that, his father started the foundation uh, to prevent suicide because as his son died, he had absolutely no idea of the symptoms that would have helped him to prevent perhaps his son's tragic death. So as a result of his son's death, he started to learn what the symptoms were and he made it his life's work to try to get that information out to the general public. So that's what we're doing here today. But we're doing it hopefully in a fun way. Uh, jamming for Jason, that's how we chose the, the topic and the, the title for the program. And we hope that you enjoy the program. We do have a cash prize for the winning band and a cash prize for the winning singer, which will be announced at the end of the program uh, when that uh, occurs later this, this afternoon. Uh, in the meantime, we'd like to introduce to you our three distinguished judges, uh, beginning with Kristen Murray uh, from Belmont Pines Hospital. Kristen is a for a number of years and works uh, with uh, the director of nursing and uh, is actually in charge and responsible for management of all of the staff uh, throughout the day and she's an aficionado of music and she has a radio playing at her desk all the time so she knows uh, what she likes and uh, I'm sure she'll be fair and unbiased and I have two other people to introduce their siblings who also have musical backgrounds and are judges. Hi everybody, um, I'd like to introduce my sister, Emily Begala, who, um, she grew up in Poland, Ohio, and she's been singing since she was in the womb, so she's also studying musical theater at Kent State, which is the third best, which has the third best musical program, musical theater program in the nation, so it's kind of prestigious, and um, she enjoys music and singing and acting, so she is open to judge. <laughs> uh, over there. She's not standing up, but she's got her hands up. <laughs> um, I'd like to introduce a friend of ours, uh, his name's Ryan Ross. He taught guitar at New York Music and Mormon for years, and he's in his own band. He's a singer and guitar player in the Ryan Ross and Youngstown Syndicate. Her name is Tiffany Tuville. She's from Petersburg, Ohio. She's been singing since she was little. She said her genre is from Taylor Swift to anything to Lady Gaga. And she will be singing Tiffany, <laughs> um, Pink's Perfect and accompanied by other covers. Please don't you ever feel like you're less than 
and we have another singer that will be introduced momentarily. I'd like to thank you all again for coming and thank all the bands and the uh, individual artists that have come out to help us uh, get this event going and for all of the volunteers both from the hospital as well as from the uh, Poland High School uh, leadership group uh, who helped us set up and so on. Um, we have just a few minutes uh, before we introduce the next act. As I told you, uh, this young man, Jason, was a 16-year-old boy in, living in Tennessee. And uh, on the day that he took his life, his father uh, was not aware of his whereabouts. And uh, he ended up going back to his house and found his son. And of course, that was a very tragic event. Uh, his father felt very upset because he had absolutely no idea as a parent what to be watching for in order to help prevent his son's tragic death. And so uh, his, the, it's the Flat family, and it's called Jason Flat is his last name, and Clark is the name of the father. And Clark Flat uh, started to uh, do research into the symptoms of teen suicide. And as he learned about it, he started going around his community to talk to schools and talk to parents and talk to rotary clubs and so on about it so that they would learn what warning signs were. And the more he did that, the more presentations he was asked to make. And although he was an, a successful insurance agent, he gave that business up and started the foundation uh, for the Jason, for his son Jason, on his kitchen table. Over a number of years, uh, they became affiliated with a group of hospitals that were operated by a company called Ardent, and uh, that was their uh, clinical sponsor and Ardent was subsumed eventually by Psychiatric Solutions and Psychiatric Solutions ownership was eventually subsumed by United or Universal Healthcare. And so Universal, Universal Healthcare is currently the hospital system that Belmont Pines Hospital is affiliated with and they have Jason Foundation representatives at most of their hospitals and they're at, at many of their hospitals and they're going to try to have a Jason Foundation representative of each of their hospitals. Uh, that being said, there's probably about five or six teen boards across the country and the, the teen boards uh, all function in the same manner. They're trying to uh, uh, make sure that people are aware of what the warning signs are, again, in hopes of preventing it. So again, I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, without your being here, it would not be a success, but uh, we count it a success just because of your presence. In just one moment, we'll introduce the next act. Thank you.
song is also by the band Skillet. It's called Monster. Not just important, I can play it. So here it goes.
said I'm uh, late in November and um, have a Facebook page, YouTube, everything. If you like me, look me up. I'm just going to play a couple songs for you. This first song I'm going to play is called One Last Time. In all of the 
those hugs we shared, all of those laughs we had, I'd do anything to get them back. In all of those kisses, in all of those smiles, even the fights that tore us apart. As long as you're by my side, holding my hand, I'll give you my whole heart. And I'll hold you close, I'll tell you I love you, and never As long as you're by my side, holding my hand, I'll give you my whole heart. I was given the option to play another song if I wanted to, but I wanted to base it off of your opinion. So who would like me to play another song? Thank you. All right, my last song I'm going to play is called Indescribable. When I think of you, my stomach's in a knot. I'm staring all day and don't care if I'm caught. The way you make me feel is what I'm looking for. My heart's bouncing up from the ceiling to the floor. I can't hide these feelings that I have inside. One glance is all it took for our worlds to collide. You enter all my dreams and never leave me sad. I can tell this is real, not just another fad. I'm six feet off the ground when you run my mind. Now I do believe that love is but baby, that's alright, cause I know you feel that too. All you need is me, and all I need is you. To the camera? This world is so harsh with no one by your side. So take my hand and we'll go for a ride. Thinking of you. And I, it seems so real, and I know it's right. I'm six feet off the ground when you're on my mind. Now I do believe that love is blind. But baby, that's alright, cause I know you feel that too. All you need is me, and all I need is you. Tell me what you want, and it's always yours. I'll take you to the beach where we can sit on the shores. What kind of guy are you looking for? Cause if it's not me, then I'll find the door. I'm six feet off the ground when you run my mind. Now I do believe that love is blind. But baby, that's alright, cause I know you feel
four, five, six, seven.
you, Big Hulk. I've had a pretty intense wash with the seven people. It was the most intense wash with I've ever been in. Okay. Were you in a closet, though? No, we were at yeah, a, a, um, a small band thing, kind of like this. Only when my friend's band came up, it was me, her, and a bunch of their friends. It was just seven of us. It got crazy. A bunch of people backed up. How about the little closet on the stage?
Alright, well our next song is called My President Your Past. Um uh, very touching, very loving lyrics. You know, that you know, going after someone after they leave you, trying to get back with them again. But yeah, it's very um very touching. But uh yeah, um so how are our levels by the way? Are they good? And you want and you don't like? Turn it up. Turn it up. You want a ladder? We can go loud. My amp's only on like one and a half. It can go like to eleven. Cowbell. Don, we got cowbell. We actually have a cowbell. No, but seriously, our levels good. Do you want them to change anything? Oh, all right, we can do that.
more. <laughs> the more class we get, the more love I feel. All right, well, <laughs> our next song is called Fallout. Oh, yeah. Ready, more? Here it goes.
you're wrong. Sometimes I get it wrong. Last song? Uh, last yeah. One. All right, everyone, so last song, so. This is my favorite song, honestly. It's called Red Grinch. Yeah, it is. All right, here it goes.